Let's watch the Waitrose ad. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time since I've said that. Like Mariah Carey, I too have defrosted and I'm back, back for Christmas. I am here now because I really missed doing YouTube videos and especially my Christmas videos. It's kind of a ritual now and it doesn't really feel like Christmas unless I've cried <laughs> while watching Christmas adverts. I think it's time to get into the Christmas spirit and watch some adverts. I can't wait. I haven't seen a single one yet. It is December and um, I'm not really in the Christmas spirit yet. I don't know what is happening. I went to Covent Garden um, on the weekend to absorb, you know, some Christmas vibes, some festive atmosphere, but to be honest, it was a bit of a letdown. I thought there would be more of a Christmas market vibe. The um, decorations are stunning, don't get me wrong, but there isn't really a Christmas feel. You know what I mean? Maybe that's because I'm from Austria and I'm used to, you know, lots of Christmas stalls and markets and roasted chestnuts everywhere. So yeah, I have, I have yet to find a good Christmas market in London. I went to the one at um, Leicester Square and no, just, just no. Um, what is festive about burnt marshmallows and candy and like loaded chips with cheese? I don't know, where's the Christmas food? Where is it? Maybe I need to get out of London because I think there are a lot of really cute Christmas markets outside of London. I know that there is one in Cambridge. Um, but yeah, I, need, I, I guess I really need to do my research. And yes, of course, elephant in the room, I have cut my hair. I quite like it. Let's look at some Christmas commercials. All right, I've got my headphones, obviously. You know the drill. So let's see, I'll just put in UK Christmas commercials 2022 it's so wild that 2022 is over like how this year has just flown right am i the only one surely not anyway the uh first one that popped up is actually the mns advert gifts that give do it. I got a good feeling. Merry Christmas. And if we're long enough, they'll sing a song for us. City farms to local choirs. This Christmas, the gifts you give help us to support community causes near you. <laughs> okay, that really didn't do it for me at all. <laughs> am I just grinching out or am I right? Let's move on from that one because that one really wasn't too great. Let's do the Disney ad. Um, and for those of you who watched my videos before, you know that Disney does hit my soft spot usually. And yes, they make me cry. Um, I'm not saying I'm going to cry now, so don't expect that, but just a disclaimer, it has happened. <laughs> I don't know why I'm just kind of frog in my throat now, but it has happened in the past. 
Am I embarrassed? No, actually. Anyway, let's just watch it now. Dark, sometimes I feel alone in the dark When I'm looking for a friend and there you are And you know just how to steady my heart When it all starts to change I wish that it would stay the same But I'll be strong the way you showed me to That was, um, that was really cute, I have to say. Disney somehow always manages to deliver. They're really good at creating very relatable stories, very relatable ads. I think everyone can relate to this. I'm an older sibling and my mom told me the story once um, that when she came back from hospital with my sister, I too, like the girl in the ad, was really annoyed and she was crying all the time and the attention wasn't on me anymore. And um, and then I told her, <laughs> I told her, well, can't you just bring her back to the hospital? I know, so bad. But yeah, it just reminded me of, of that. And then obviously my sister is my best friend and I love her so much, but... Um, yeah, it's just really sweet. God. Okay, what did I say about crying? The Disney adverts, they, they be doing that to you. That's not grammatically correct, but I'm just trying to sound like the Gen Z, trying to hold on to youth left of it anyway shall we move on to John Lewis give that a go yeah we can't wait oh, we got in peace we're really excited Merry Christmas Small things, true care, the truth brings. You okay? I'll take yeah, one I'm fine. Lift. Your ride, best trip. Always, I know you'll be at my show, watching, waiting. How did it go? Yeah, nailed it. Say it ain't so. I will not go. Turn the lights off. Carry me home. Oh, 
Hey, Ellie. Hi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the skate a bit too. <laughs> you want to come in? Oh, well, I just have a few stickers, that's all. Yeah, get some stickers for it. What? Okay, maybe I'm feeling especially emotional today. But that was really beautiful. Come on. That was just... Oh, heartbreaking. Not only a really nice story to tell in that commercial, but also a great cause to support and um, raise awareness for. Yeah, I love that. I love it. That was so beautiful. I wasn't feeling the Christmas spirit at all, you know, but um, this is definitely helping. So I'm glad. I'm glad I, um, I'm doing this. I think it's incredible that they're raising awareness for foster care and it really does make you think and puts you into someone else's shoes too because you know some people don't have big families or or any families to celebrate Christmas with and I love this message that it's about love and and people giving and giving in the sense of just not material presence and it is nice to see especially this year where people are cutting back because life is expensive at the moment it's just expensive to exist at the moment I think this might might be my favorite ad. We'll watch some more. Okay, let's um, continue with McDonald's. Why not? McDonald's UK. The list. <laughs> Why don't you make a Christmas list? A list? Looking from a window above, it's like a story of love. Can you hear me? Came back only yesterday. I'm moving further away. What you need me? All I needed was the love you gave. All I needed for another day. I haven't been to McDonald's in a long time, but some of my childhood memories revolve around McDonald's, like my mom, my sister and I going to the drive through and eating fries in the car and, you know, going to McDonald's with my friends from school. So yeah, I used to love going to McDonald's as a kid, which, which kid doesn't? <laughs> I always found Ronald McDonald to be super creepy though, not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, I've got great memories, you know, playing there with my sister and my friends. They always had this like kids area. So this advert does hit close to home. Also, what a great cover of all the small things. I would have never thought I would ever hear that song covered that way, but it worked. Next up, we've got Sainsbury's Once Upon a Pud. In a far, far away land, a feast was being planned. Crab thermidor crumpets. Delicious. Cider glazed gammon. Yes, yes, I love all that. You, what do you have? For dessert. I've never really liked Christmas pudding. <sighs> Bring me something different. Or else. Or else. 
or out. Or out. That's my biscuit! Treaty time! Christmas pudding. Uh oh. Is that caramelised biscuit? Yes, Countess. Oh, that's a bit of me. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Babs. And that's why you can taste the difference. <laughs> Sainsbury's. I mean. What did I just say? Yeah, Sainsbury's kind of failed to deliver this year, at least for me. I'm not really interested in seeing an overflowing food table. All right, guys, I think that's enough ads for today. I really enjoyed watching these adverts. My favorite one was the John Lewis ad. I think that was the best one. So let me know in the comments which commercials you recommend, and I'll see you soon. Bye.